What is going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Still looking at the Linux Offset Club War Game. You can find it online just at that URL. Um, let's jump back into it. We were just at user 7. And uh, let's go connect and try to see what this level's like. Linux Offset Club. We'll paste in this password that we've got here. And alright, where are we at now? We can just cat out this password.txt. Okay. It tells us nope. Just, uh, just nope. Don't know why that is. Is that, is, is, is that just what is in this? Okay, no, the, the file's 16 bytes, not only four, not only those letters of those characters. Uh, so what's going on? Can I cat to begin with? No. Can I cat anything? No. Okay. Are there any aliases set up? Is there, are we trying to nerf the command? Oh, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I don't know why that's funny. I'm sorry. Okay, no, there are no aliases set up for the cat command. So what's going on? What are we doing? Are we running the correct cat command? Okay. No. Using the which command, I'm able to see the path of where this file, what file is actually being executed here. And we can see we're running user local broke cat, which is probably not what we think it was. Let's actually just view that file. What? Do I do I have less? Do do I have less even? No, I don't. Okay, geez. What about more? Do I have more? I don't. Well, what is my path? Okay, user local broke is the first thing. User local broke. Okay. All of these things that you would probably expect to use um, are not working. Well, um, <laughs> they're all looks like just bash scripts. Oh, yep, just the, just to echo the nope command. Echo the echo the string nope. That's not a command. Wow. Okay. I guess they forgot grep though, so that's kind of a funny thing. You can just probably grep password.txt for anything. Nice. That's a that's a worry around it. Or we could use the original actual cat command that's located in like forward slash bin. We can run that on cat, and that will work just fine. Nice. Okay. Let's take note of that. Um, what is that? User eight now. Yep. Okay. Login for user eight is each piece land sixty four. Cool. Let's jump into him. We are logged in, and go here. Cyber Chef is. Okay, that's that's literally that's literally the file name, but it's there's nothing in there. Okay, password.txt. Ah, okay. So Cyberchef. A lot of this looks like base64. You can tell with the trailing equal sign. And let's see what we've got here. Cyberchef is an online tool that lets you do some really neat things that you may commonly run into in um, a capture the flag competition. So our input here, we you can paste in, and the output is what we can modify based off the recipe that's kind of in the middle here. And on the left-hand side, all these operations are these things we can do to actually operate on the data. Looks like in the favorites, it had from base64. We can use that as an option. And, oh, okay, you can see it's running where. That first line looks like it's just the, the word where, but the rest of it is not really playing nicely with us. So what else can we do? Um, if if that's under base64 data format is where that actually lives rather than favorites, we can from base64, what are all these other encodings? Maybe this is uh, base32. Let's drag that in. Let's turn off the base64. No. Huh. What if we remove that part now? Oh, yeah, okay. Since that base64 is out of the way, because we knew that was base64, maybe just this part is base32, and it looks like that gives us the word wood. So where wood, let's put this somewhere, where wood. Now what's this last bit? Is this next in the list is base58. Let's turn off base32. Oh, we don't have anything else in there, so we can't yet. Uh, we don't want to, we want from base58. Oh, okay, and known 80. Nice, that decoded just fine. So where would known 80? That looks like it is probably a password based off of uh, the stuff we've seen so far. 
So let's just put that in user nine dot text, right? Cool. And let's disconnect and go check that one out. User nine, we are logged in. Cool. Check out password dot text. Hey, this is probably not the password, but perhaps a hash and a, uh, maybe an MD5 hash, maybe a really low-hanging fruit, simple one. And I, I'm saying that because this looks like 32 characters of just hex characters, A through F, 0 through 9, and let's test that. Yep, okay, 33, including the new line character. Yeah. So that's got to be 32 characters of that actual string. Let's throw that into, like, a hash cracker that we could probably just find anywhere online. Crack station will work just fine. I know that's, like, the pretty easy default. I'm not a robot. Crack these hashes. Okay, cool. Uh, success. Shark bait is what that actually, what that was the a original string here. It was hashed and performed a, like a one-way function on it to turn it into this um, hexadecimal garbage. Nice. Let's uh, note that as user nine. Oh, no. Didn't, am I want that as user ten? My bad. Because that was we were just in user nine. User 10. Shark bait. Cool. Let's try and uh, connect to user 10 now. Shark bait. Heck yeah. We're in. Okay, cool. Um, simple challenges, simple levels in this one. Uh, a few of the users we were able to knock out, 7 through 9. Uh, and we'll jump into 10 through 12 in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these.